Hey guys, Ollie here once again. So today I'm talking about a social media addiction and how to cure it. So social media addiction has kind of like been a thing, a compulsion, I'd say more a uh, social media compulsion. Borderline on addiction has been coming up for me a lot more recently. It's been an ongoing thing this past year that it comes in waves um, for various reasons. I've never really had an addiction to drugs or alcohol or anything of that sort, but it kind of comes up that social media is the thing that pulls me in. That's, the, that's the, the way that my mind, my brain wants to get its dopamine hit. So it keeps coming back up. So for that reason, I've actually developed a bunch of strategies that work really well for me to keep this thing at bay. Uh, and I'm happy to say that I'm keeping it at bay now. Um, and I'm gonna share five reasons, no, five ways that I can keep this at bay. I'm gonna share these with you. Um, and in another video, I've got another five because I've, I've managed to write down 10. So I'm gonna split it up into two videos and, uh, and deliver them to you right now. So number one, it's important for you to investigate the underlying reasons why you have a social media addiction slash compulsion. Why is it? Why is it? There's an underlying reason for this. It's not that the social media in itself is the primary sort of cause of this. It's just a symptom of an underlying thing. Now for me personally, when I feel my loneliest, that's when I check my phone the most. That's not a coincidence. Number two, if you're taking social media away and you use it quite heavily, replace it for something else. You can't take something away, leave that gap in your life, in your day to day, without something else to replace it with. They find this with alcoholics recovering from addiction. Generally, they can go to rehab within anywhere between two to four weeks. Um, their, um, their neurochemistry and everything is, is kind of settled. Uh, considerably in those two to four weeks because the body's quite adaptable. One thing that addicts tend to struggle with though is the personality aspect of it. They've taken alcohol out of, this, out of their lives and alcohol was a massive part of not only their day-to-day -day existence but their identity. So in the void, if you just leave that void wide open and then let the time, you know, let time pass, you'll eventually fill it with what's familiar. So what you've got to do is you've got to replace it with something else. So if you're taking social media out of the equation, replace it for something else. So one thing that I did was I started, if I got the the, um, the impulse to check my phone and go on social media and scroll, I would write. I do actually write uh, in a journal, write in a diary, just write, put pen to paper, keep doing it. It's amazing what original thoughts you come up with when you do this as well. Another thing is to keep a book with you and read. Number three, know that you aren't alone. See, this is completely undiscovered territory. We're heading into new frontiers, man, in humanity. This is technology rapidly expanding, rapidly speeding up the process of human evolution in ways that we don't really know what it's gonna to lead to. So social media is just one part of that whole spectrum and we're all being subjected to this stuff. And it's it's kind of, a, it, it's scary because we don't know what the effects, the effects are gonna be. But no, make no mistake about it, the fact that Facebook has so much coverage over the entire planet now, it's unlikely damn near impossible actually, that you are alone in this. So know that yourself, that this is you pioneering for humanity in a small way, what the effects are and how to alleviate them. Number four, this is not a shocker whatsoever to anyone watching my channel over the past sort of six months to a year. <laughs> Practice mindfulness meditation. Practice mindfulness because what you can then do is be more aware of the subtle internal cues and triggers that lead you to checking your phone lead you to go on social media. If you're not aware of the problem, if you're not self-aware, then you can't, you don't have any foundation with which to work from, with which to go forth and change your habits. You need to be aware of where you are. And in order to be aware of where you are, that needs to be strengthened like a muscle. So mindfulness meditation is crucial for this and was crucial for me in um, keeping my social media addiction at bay. Number five, it is important that you don't tyrannize yourself. You don't just crack the whip on yourself repeatedly. Um, so for this reason, you need to check your phone at regular intervals. So rather than just checking your phone compulsively with no particular reason for doing so, set yourself a reminder every hour that you can check your phone for five minutes so you can see what notifications have come up, etc. You gotta feed the deeper parts of you, the deeper emotional parts that want that dopamine fix. You gotta feed them. Cutting them off completely is a short-term, too harsh fix that won't actually lead to long-term success at all. So you gotta give yourself a little bit of a you gotta, you gotta dangle the carrot and occasionally give yourself a nibble every now and then. That's the analogy I'm using. So that was five. That was five ways to overcome social media addiction. Cure it forever. 
keep an eye on this channel guys click like and subscribe and uh, check my Facebook and my Instagram out because what I'm gonna do is post another video in the next couple of weeks of um, five more ways if social media is addiction is something that affects you so thank you very much guys take care peace and presence to you fairly well <laughs>